Little Show Bill Boston site. You want to guess what we're going to talk about today? Time's up. Yeah, we're going to talk about air barriers on vented roofs, uh, vented ceiling systems. So you can see here, we've chosen Sega Myrex 200. It is their smart vapor retarder that can also be a air <coughs> barrier. And so this house, if you remember, it is a mixture of, we have some flat ceilings and then we have mono slope ceilings in three different locations. In two of those locations inside the house, the owner suite and the great room here, I chose to go with a vented roof assembly. So we have mono slope trusses that have a uh, cord down in the bottom. It's not really a parallel cord because it's sloped, but it's sloped half of the four and 12 that the main roof is. So this is about two and 12 on the inside here, but it tightens up down at the end there, certainly expands to almost about five and a half feet up there. So we have our soffit there. We have our exiting soffit there. Roof vents. Above the uh, Myrex, we have some netting and then we have 20 inches of insulation, cellulose, blown cellulose insulation. Now, the lower, say, third, it's actually packed in there and we have some roof vents that allow the air to migrate above it. From about a third all the way over, we actually have attic space above the insulation there. So we can get some mixing and venting there. But we use the Sega Myrex. If you think about it, it's kind of a inverted drain pan made out of um, that smart vapor retarder. We have a couple very healthy beads of Excel, that Lexel, that run around the perimeter. Lexel is a uh, caulking or sealant um, from Sashco. So we have that, and then the Sega simply gets um, stapled to that. The Sega, you can see, it comes in these rolls here. These are, I think they're about 60 inches. Um, right? And it just simply rolls off of there. They have a bunch of lines and stuff and nailing patterns here. They also have, their own proprietary sealing tape. Here, it's their reson tape that's made especially to seal with that and it's dual release. So you can tape it on the one side, get it all set up and then go back, peel off the second side and get that. Now, some of you might say, well, why do we wanna work with a company like Sega? Why didn't we just put a poly or something else in that wall or in that ceiling assembly. We could have certainly put poly up, but we've been putting it up as a bad decision in our climate zone here. The smart vapor retarder, while it allows the moisture to migrate through, should we get too much moisture on the outside, it would basically let it back out and let it dry to the inside if we need that. The other thing to understand is when you're working with a company like Sega, these aren't guys that go into a lab and three days later come out and say, hey, we have the next best smart vapor retarder. I've actually been to their factory where this stuff gets made and I've actually been in the lab and took some time to talk to their scientists and engineers that actually develop their products. And in talking them specifically with them about the Myrex product, one of the things I learned is it took 126 no-goes before they developed Myrex. So they went through 126 different options until they were satisfied with an option that did and met all of the parameters that they were in search of. So before you go off the rails and just say, oh, that stuff's real expensive, who the hell wants to use that stuff? You need to think long and hard about these companies that are investing a lot of research in products that we can put in our buildings that keep you, Joe Builder and Joanna Builder and Joe Architect and Joanna Architect, 
out of trouble, lower our risk, and work with companies that are taking it upon themselves to develop the right products and then send them out in the field when they're confident about that product so that we can piggyback their confidence and I can come out to my projects, see this stuff installed and have the same confidence level that they had in the lab with this product installed out here. So you can see it stretches across the whole mono slope frame here all the way to the high side. We're going to do some trimming back um, and we'll even tighten that up a little bit more. Um, as far as our air tightness spec on this, we did a blower door test with this intact. We're right around 1.0 for our initial test. So as far as initial tests go, that's pretty good. We're going to tighten it up a little bit and uh, we'll get that down more towards the passive house number hopefully when we uh, do our final test, but that's a really good start. Let's head back to the studio. We'll grab some details here where we're talking about this assembly and we'll talk a little bit more about this Sega Myrex and our air barrier continuity here in the ceiling system. Let's see you back at the studio. All right, everybody. So I got Big Red in hand. We got details. We got Myrex playing air barrier as well as smart vapor retarder. Let's talk a little bit about that. What, what each one means and uh, how it all fits in the detail. And I might even have an initial blower door result so we can talk about whether that detail's working or not. So got big red in hand, let's have at it. All right, so grab the detail here, um, give you a little orientation. You can see this is the uh, double top plate for on top of the wall there. And this is our roof truss system. You can see our bottom cord is right there. And that's the one that uh, we're going to talk about for the most part today in the upper cord. And then we obviously have some web members there. Now, in the original detail, we did not have these sleepers here, but uh, these are one by threes. We call it ceiling strapping here in New England. And the, the issue there is the framers are so ingrained to put the trusses up, let's get the strapping in, and uh, just put it in and not realizing that maybe that Myrex should have went up first and we weren't doing one by threes, we were doing two by fours, so their guy just did what he did. And um, anyways, we left those one by threes in place. But the important thing is that here we're inside the house and here is basically our attic or roof cavity and I say attic because as you go up the roof here it isn't tight to the vent anymore we actually have about 30 36 inches on the first third of the high part where we actually have some attic space above the insulation there but what we want to do is we want to control our air leakage. And notice, I'm not talking about this as a smart vapor retarder because it is, and I'm calling it that because they have to buy the stuff, but that's what it typically is set up for. But understand, we have a vented roof. So if moisture migrates up here, it's going to get in the vent system and it's going to come in here it's going to go up in our vent and that whole roof venting is made to get rid of any of that moisture but the myrex will certainly slow that down so you know it's not it's not going to just freely flow through that but the beauty of the Myrex, it's in its MAJ REX. And it comes in a roll, it's I think it's 60 inches wide. Um, and it's made by a company called Sega. And uh, we use a lot of Sega's tapes and um, Myrex. And they actually have a tape that's made to tape the seams there. Um, but the beauty of the Myrex is that it is an effective air barrier. 
you know, I was a uh, little side story. I was just out at the factory a few months ago um, in Switzerland where they make all the, the Myrex and their tapes and all of that stuff. And uh, I was talking with their lab scientist and uh, uh, innovation development people, and they were telling me the, the Sika Myrex, they went through something like, I, I think it was 120 designs before they found the one they wanted to use. Right. So when you sit back and you sit there and say, oh, that Myrex, I mean, what it it, it doesn't do this, it, it doesn't do that. It, uh, no, this company spent years developing that Myrex so that it allows moisture through, but it becomes an air barrier. This is not this isn't playtime here. Right. These are professionals that don't turn something out until they have that material doing what they set out to do. So 120 designs where they constantly kept tweaking it until they have the solution um, that they wanted to get. But anyways, so we have our strapping in there. So our Myrex is this dashed line. We put it over the strapping and it turned down the corner here. And you can see we have two beads of sealant. So we have two beads of sealant here that we bedded that in and then basically pushed that up against there and sealed it to our plate. Now, we have two inches of closed cell here that are help sealing it. Plus, we have our primary air barrier of Zip R9 that rides um, behind that. So all we really needed to do is get that to seal at that perimeter. And then obviously going up the sloped walls, we have those double top plates. So those two beads of sealant basically go around all four sides of the room and that stuff just gets pushed up in it. And then where we have a seam, it'll get taped with the reson tape, which is also made by Sega. Um, and then we get a very effective air barrier. Um, and it's a flexible air barrier, so these guys aren't putting up these heavy sheets of stuff. It's basically a, a very light um, membrane paper um, type material. And again, it's only 60 inches wide, so you can see in the photos there and when we were out at the job site, you know, you basically roll that out across the ceiling and get to the other side, put the, run those two beads of sealant, drape it over, and then squish it in, staple it off, um, and then staple it up, tape all of the joints, and we basically have what I would consider an inverted bathtub. That is our effective air barrier there. So anyways, it's, uh, <laughs> here, I'll put it down, but one of my favorite quotes by Joe Stebrick, right? It's not rocket science. It's building science. Yeah, let's not overthink it. Right, we have this, we insulate it, we net that off, we put our Myrex in, we seal it to here. That is, that framing member is part of our air barrier system. There's a whole lot of things. This foam is part of our secondary air barrier system. The Zip R9 is our primary air barrier. The foam there is our secondary air barrier. These plates are part of our air barrier system. So when people say, what's the best material for an air barrier? Well, I mean, we here, we have the Zip R9, we have closed cell foam, we have um, two top plates. We have, um, in this case here, we have um, Sashko's, uh, I forget what they call that one, Flex Seal, or no, it's not Flex Seal. Um, and then we have our Sega membrane. So you have one, two, three, four, five times materials in that assembly that make up our air barrier. And we did test this out, went with that in place, and guess what? 
Yes, we are at 1.0 air changes per hour at 50 pascals currently. And uh, our goal is to get that down to 0 0.60, which we will. That 1.0, it's a great number, but we still had some flaws overall in our entire air barrier system that uh, we were, uh, were working on fixing and uh, getting them right and tuning them up a little. So we're hoping to get that number down under that uh, 0.6 mark. So I think we will. Um, yeah, there you go. Sega Myrex, 60 inches wide. Using it as in our air barrier out here at our monosloped volume ceiling. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Well, there you have it. Big Red did a hell of a job today. We got that detail all marked up. We got some explanations and discussions um, that we had on that. Some really good ones. So anyways, if you're still looking for more, Build Show Network. Yeah, thousands of videos. And we got some original series on there. We have the uh, original Build Show build, um, the Hilltop Arrow House that I did with Jake. But more currently, we have the Build Show Build Boston series. And uh, we're well over half of the episodes where we're taking you through the whole build of a build not too far from where I'm sitting right now. So anyways, go check it out. Build Show Build Boston. It's under the Originals tab. If you're still looking for more, Instagram, Steve Basic Architect. I'm out there, LinkedIn, Facebook, all of them. Type that in. Find out a little bit about me. Lastly, Unbuild It Podcast. Yeah, Peter Yost, Jake Bruton, and myself, the three amigos. We're uh, tossing around some building knowledge, so go check it out. That's a wrap for this week. So, until next time, on with our buildings.